Alright, so originally I was gonna do, um, because I have videos planned anyway, so it's not like it would have been like, oh, like, I need to get a video out this week, and the only one I can get out is the comic haul. Now, not everything has come in. Annoyingly enough, one of them has to come in that I'm really annoyed about, and I'll get to that when I show the other book. Um, because originally I was gonna wait until both, there's two books by the same author, and I was gonna wait until that second book came in. If anything, I thought it was gonna be the book that already is in. That would be the late bloomer, but it's not. Um, but this is a, a bit of a disappointment. Um, obviously part of it is just me saying like, Oh, I think I'm this instead, I can go on that instead. And then like, just being so annoying about it. Like, I, I really need to like, like I said, I was gonna, like, I, came up with, I came up with this kind of, not joke, but like the kind of comparisons, like I said, I need to exercise it from my brain. Like, call up a priest and exercise that part of my brain that's constantly like, Oh, you could've gone this instead, why'd you get this book? This book isn't, you don't have everything but this author from Image Comics or whatever. Now, notice I said Image Comics. If you're new to this channel for the past, since 20, since May 2022, I have been getting nothing but Image Comics. Without, uh, with some rare exceptions. Like in September of 2022, along with Image Comics, I got, um, The Boys on Buses. Cause because they were having a sale at Newbury Comics, and I was like, okay, I can't not get this. It's kind of like a no-brainer. There wasn't a whole lot I wanted anyways. There was some Image Comics. So I decided to get that. Um, and then, but I still got, not, it's been non-stop Image Comics every month. At least I get at least a few Image Comics, like again. And then at November this past year, I got four Image Comics, and the rest, the ten, were uh, an AOK -OK unboxing, which is a, it's a kindness, like subscribers, and usually Instagram followers will send me stuff. And the same guy that did before sent me stuff again. But this time it was not Image Comics, it was uh, a bunch of DC Comics. Two of which I had, but that was, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll, again, like I said before, I'll, I'll be keeping his copy and selling my copy, or giving away my copy. Not like a giveaway or anything like that, just like people that I know would like it. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, notice I said Image Comics, because this book is Underground by Jeff Parker. Now, this is from Image Comics. The original issues came out from Image, and technically, the trade did too. But in 2021, it, Jeff Parker must have had a huge falling out with Image Comics, or the artist did, and or the colorist did. So it's from Oni Press, and I found this out after I purchased it, because I looked up on uh, Jeff Parker Image Comics. Uh, well, I, I knew Underground was a book by him. I think I had just, um, I think it was actually, I think, I think it was exactly what it was. Just for shits and giggles, I was on Wikipedia looking up some other guys, and it's like, related authors, Jeff Parker. I was like, oh, let's see if he's done anything for Image. Yep, he has. Underground. I'm like, you know what? I like Jack. I love Jack. I, I like Jeff Parker enough. You know, I can't think of anything on the top of my head that I really enjoyed. I can't say, yes, this is a book by him that I really liked. But I know he's a competent enough writer, and his Batman 66 omnibus was in the um, comic news, you know, near my condition was talking about this. It's like, you know what? Let's get that. But yeah, so annoying that it's Oni Press. Why do they change publishers? This is so annoying. It's like this huge blemish on my shelf now. So I'm, I'm going to put it with my other Image Comics books. It is Image Comics, but nowhere does this say that it's Image Comics. But I know it is. And I know it doesn't make sense to anybody else, but it makes sense to me. But what, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat this book like I treat Kingsman. I have the first volume and second, I have both volumes of Kingsman. And when I got the second volume for Christmas, I was like, I don't want to put that next to... Um, like something like, like Sharky the Bounty Hunter, which is another, another Mark Millard book. I want to put it next to Kingsman Volume 1. But Kingsman Volume 1, I have the Marvel Entertainment Millard World printing. Weird, weird printing of that book. So I count as an image comic. I'll be doing the same to this one, because it still is from Image. It's just, it's, it's, this is just the only press version. Because for me to return this book, wait, because this, this is from a third party seller. For me to return this book, wait for it to get returned. Then wait for the other book to come in, because I'll probably have to wait till I get the refund to order the new copy. So, rather than do any of that, I'm just going to decide to hell with it, I'll keep this copy. Now, it's not telling me who the colorist is. This is super annoying. Oh, here it is, sorry. So, it's created by Jeff Parker and Steve Lieber. Written by him. Written by Jeff Parker. Illustrated by Steve Lieber. And colored by Ron Chan. But yeah, I didn't know. 
like I was none the wiser until well after I ordered it. And it took a little bit, a little while for it just to go from um, shipping to shipped. It was really strange. So here's the artwork. It looks pretty interesting. It's like about a park ranger in a cave, kind of like one of those kinds of books. Um, but yeah, Oni Press. In 1999. It's kind of funny. Because all their. The, the reason why I'll probably never get into Oni Press is their books are expensive. This would probably be from Image Comics sixteen ninety nine, maybe even fifteen ninety or fourteen ninety nine, but it's always like a flat rate nineteen ninety nine. Both Oni Press and Dark Horse are kind of scummy about it. But yeah, it was, like, it was like well after I'd ordered it too, so I, I didn't, like I just no way of me being like, um, like yeah, I'll, I, I should check. But I, I, I was in the wiser because you look up Image Comics Jeff Parker on Amazon, and you get this exact printing. So annoying because it's gonna look stupid on my shelf. I probably I, I don't know what I should do. Like if I should put it like maybe next to that book. Yeah, maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. But I still count it as image. And it's the only thing he's done for image too, except for um, some stuff a long time ago. And then a lot of these guys, it's kind of like a a trend. They'll have one issue of a book that's not in print anywhere. And you, well, you can get it in print. You can get like, from the one comic itself. But you can't get it on the Kindle or anything like that. So it's going to be like $5 more expensive than $5 more than it should be. Now on to the book that you'll all I already read. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you saw my What well, Going Out With A Bang, which I think everyone thinks I got, I got a good amount of views. For me, anyways. I got a good amount of views. Um, you will know that I showed off Cosmic Detective by Matt Kiss by Matt Kent and Jeff Lemire, and artwork by David Rubin. Now, when I say and Jeff Lemire, well, because I'm a stickler about another thing. If, if, you, if you knew the channel, another thing about me is I'm very much a stickler about I need everything. To, I'm gonna say I'm gonna explain this actually. I need everything from Jeff Lemire before I even think about getting something like Cosmic Detective. Now, I do have some Jeff, uh, Jeff, I can't want to say Jeff Parker. I do have some Jeff Lemire books. Like, I have, um, Family Tree, all, all that series. But I, I have Trade Form Volumes 2 and 3 because I have the individual issues for, for uh, 1 through 4. And then I have, um, the first volume of Descender and Gideon Falls. I think that's it. And I can't, like, for me to get, like, Everything I need, like I, I think it's out right now from Jeff Parker is uh, Lemire is kind of stupid because I will just be getting like there's there's Bone Orchard Tenement that's coming out or it's not Tenement it's another Born Bone Orchard series that's not even had come out yet. Oh well, the trade hasn't come out yet. I just from I just wouldn't feel complete until that happens. But I count this more as a Matt Kent book. And I can say safely say. That this is more of a Matt Kent yarn than a Jeff Lemire yarn. If you've read enough Jeff Lemire and you know Jeff Lemire, you know his style of writing. And it's present in some parts here, but this is definitely more of a Matt Kent book. This reminds me more of Berserker than it does um, Gideon. Well, I haven't read Gideon Falls. More than it does uh, Family Tree. Now, I, I, I really hope that I'm, I'm correct on that, and that Matt Kent had more to do with the book than Jeff Lemire did. I did think about I should do that, too. I did think about reaching out to Matt Kent and asking him, but it doesn't, does it really matter? My head can says... And it, I, I think it's annoying is that he's credited first, Jeff Lemire. But I count this as a, as a Matt Kent book. And also, also, this is the last book I need... I don't usually do this, I usually go by author, but this is the last David Rubin book I need. Now, this artwork was absolutely insanely good. Like, this complements the, the story so much. It has kind of, like, at parts, it really did remind me of Jack Kirby's artwork. So, if you like that kind of style, you'll definitely dig this. I think this quote right here says it all. Imagine David Cronenberg and William Gibson, I don't know who that is. Uh, merging body and soul with Jack Kirby. That's, that's, that's from the Hollywood Report, and it's a perfect way to describe it. Very good book. I really, I really did enjoy this one. Um, it, it, I think one thing about this, and it's kind of funny because I had the same problem with Beowulf. It's also by David Rubin. Uh, or, or, or by David Rubin, that, that one's written by Sandy Hill Garcia. 
one thing about that book is that, um, about Beowulf 2 and this, is that both of them are very fast-paced. I think David Rubin, either he might, he must say something like, dude, I have impeccable artwork. Can you not have so much dialogue? And they were like, alright, we'll try and have as few dialogue as, as little dialogue as we can. And honestly, if anything, Jeff Lemire probably did, um, ask for Matt Kent's help, because a Berserker has very, at least the first few issues, had very few dialogue. Very little dialogue. I think one had more than the other did. I remember it being very fast, but very fast paced book. The first issue especially, I think. One, one of the issues I was reading had very, was very quick. I think I've read the first six or so. I haven't finished it yet. I, I will, pr I will be getting that trade that has the one issue I don't have for fourteen ninety nine. I pay 15 bucks for one issue I don't have and then double dip on an issue I, I already got for nine dollars. But whatever. Uh, but yes, Cosmic Detective, very good book. And also one of the very few image comics had swollen well, not very very few. But one of the um one of the from books from image comics that is seventeen ninety nine, but it's two hundred and eight pages. This is a hundred this is both going to Amazon. This is a hundred and twenty eight and this is twenty bucks. Let that sink in. Then we have one of the two pre-orders. Now, one of them didn't end up being a pre-order. Spoilers to Sex Criminals. It was the one that hasn't come in yet. I was waiting for. But I decided, oh yeah, this isn't the right listing. This is... We, 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 you wouldn't even know what this is. Uh, you have to order it from here now on Amazon. This listing. And what really annoyed me is it's just the back of my mind. I keep thinking, like, what if I had... What if that, what if that original printing was there? Like, the original printing. Original listing was there. I already saw both listings. I was like, oh do this one instead and the new listening one said you can get day of release because this i got day of release this is, and actually and it's even more insulting is that that one was one day shipping sex criminals would have been one day shipping once shipped and this was two days once shipped and this was actually one day so judging by that yeah it probably could have been but i don't think it, it's hard to say because this one is a lot less um surprisingly enough a lot less popular than Sex criminals is at least right now, like from when I ordered that. Now this is Creep Show Volume Two, collecting Creep Show Two One Through Five. Now uh, 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 Underground, by the way, is One Through Five. I know it was I got way too frantic about God forbid it was it was an Image Comics and say Image Comics on on the uh, side. Um, yeah, Underground was also One Through Five, but now this is Creep Show Two One Through Five. It does not collect the two specials. I had to get those in the Kindle, which is fine, because by the time I got the, the Wolverton Station Joe Hill one, that was at two nine two ninety nine. you know, it should have been one ninety nine, but it's because it's a special issue, but still, it's like 33 pages, give me a break, 10 more, 10 more pages, you gotta make it, you still have to make it more expensive than your average, even the average, um, PDF copy is... I, I, I do hate getting books off, the, I will only get digital comics if I have to. There's very few exceptions, but most of the time I, I try to get, unless it's a sale. If it's a sale, yeah, I'm going to get it. Like, especially if, like, so I do still get, like, DC, Marvel, um, those, the big, the big two. But usually it's either from my library or on the Kindle when having a sale. Like, just recently I, I did end up buying, for once and for all, Batman Reptilian on the Kindle. Yeah, yeah the library I hadn't I read it twice there, but it's like, you know what? It's such a damn good book. I'm getting it on off the Kindle. Now that, speaking of Garth Ennis, Garth Ennis, there's a story here. I wish it was all that issue. So this is, the, this is an anthology. So it was like, what? Yeah, two stories per issue. So I'm just going to go over all the, um, the, uh, art, uh, the uh, authors. So we have Garth Ennis. We have Phil Hester. We have Michael Walsh. Those are also art, those are the artists in Colors of That series. Dan Waters. Zoe Thorogood, writer, art, artist, and letterer. Joe Farley, I, I was saying Farley Brothers. Nick Dragoda, once again, writer and artist. Uh, Alyssa Whitney, I don't know. Saladin Ahmed, and then finally, David, D.B., Andre, and Tim Daniel. Again, I don't know how to know them else. But, um, Garth Ennis. Main reason why I got this book is because of Garth Ennis. And also the artwork. And it was Creepshow Volume 2. I, I, I got, I did, I did get Creepshow Volume, um, which is which. 
um, I did end up getting Creep Show Volume One. Like, I was, I was the, my birthday month. That, that was a long time coming too, because Creep Show Volume One had like maybe one author I liked, and I was like, yeah, look, he's got the guys. It's like, eh, it's like one of those things. But this one was like, this is the last Garth Ennis book I needed. I was like, you know what? Let's get it. It's a two. It's two for two for, two for one. It's Creep Show Volume Two, and it's um, Garth, the last Garth Ennis book I need. Now another another rule I have is I don't count Spawn because Spawn is just there's so much Spawn. There is eighty spinoffs of Spawn per year, and they announce fourteen more every year. So it's like 94 spinoffs along with Spawn itself. And that's been the case for, for since Spawn first started back in 93. Or sorry, 92, I think it was. Yeah, 92. I think it was the first Image Comics series. Now, I did like Spawn. I read the first Compendium, local library. I did like it, but it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm not going to count, like, the Grant Morrison did two issues. I'm not going to include that as we need from Grant Morrison. And then Garth Ennis did, like, a medieval spawn witch play that he did way back in the day. Um, I don't count that. I think it's out of print, too. So. I think even a very good copy was, like, 15 bucks. I was like, hell no. Yeah, one through five of Creep Show too. Very annoying they don't count the, they don't collect the, the special. Like, not, not even the Christmas, the Christmas special one. That came out in December of 2023. Like, that tree came out in March. Like, yesterday, basically. Actually, two days ago. Next one is The Nameless by Joe Pruitt. This book's about to fall. I don't have much stack, but it's going to fall. Yes. You've heard of Nameless from Image Comics by Grant Morrison, ironically enough. And here is The Nameless. This has probably the most blemishes so far. Um, for... The books I bought. Now this one is fine. It's just like a little thing here. And there's a little bend here. Um, now that's fine because there's, it, it, you probably can't tell, but the page, the paper quality they use is fine. I think the paper quality itself is fine, but the book itself is just feels kind of cheap. I think because it's an older printing. This, this came out a long time ago. Oh yeah, 2006. So yeah. They didn't have that much money back then. It was as much money, and it's you know, for material, whatever. Um, so it's very, very like loose kind of thing. Not that it's gonna fall apart, obviously. But it's kind of like the best way to describe it is it's kind of more plasticky, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's what I imagine that Plastic Man book, uh, the Plastic Man trade will feel like. Because it's like, oh, it's Plastic Man, so it stretches. Isn't that cool? It's kind of what I imagine that would feel like. But yeah, it's kind of like a more like bendy, looser kind of feeling. I, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. I've been saying that. Now, this one is written by Joe Pruitt. Now, Joe Pruitt is an author that I just... I got... I, I'm gonna level... I'm gonna come out right and say it. Come, come right out and say it. I only got this book because it was 10 bucks, and the next book, because it, it was 12 bucks. Both by, both by Joe Pruitt, both from Image, Image Comics. Because I was, I was originally gonna say, fuck it. I'm getting... Um... Well, originally, I was, originally I was actually gonna get... Uh, what do you call it along with it? I was gonna get like three books, and they're all three of them are ongoing series. Technically, one isn't, but it was one of those things where I was like, no. Creep Show is the only book I think would be still ongoing. As of all these books, yeah, one of them, like Sex Criminals, is by Matt Fraction. No, it's not everything I need by Matt Fraction, but I count it as it's all the series of. Matt Fraction sex criminals kind of thing, you know? But yes, this is Nameless. The Nameless by Joe Pruitt with artwork done by... Phil Hester. Hey, here we go. Art and cover done by him. It doesn't look very interesting. It's black and white artwork. But this one was kind of like a, a, a fantasy kind of thing, I think. The audacity of them to say new. Yeah, it's an evil hides in the shadows of modern day Mexico City. It's pretty good. And just it feeds on the, feeds on the abandoned street children by night kind of thing. So kind of like that kind of story. But it's not interesting enough. Uh, it's just, this and the next one are both books that were originally from Negative Burn 
But what was the publisher? I don't know. Spruce Jones. Spruce Jones. Does that sound familiar? I hear that sounds familiar. Okay, cool. Alright. Then the next series, and this one I got, again, I want to tell you guys, I guess we're at $11.99. This thick ass book. Off Amazon, too, mind you. And this is Kilroy is Here by Joe Pruitt. Now, unlike the other, holy shit, it's more than 300 pages, and I got a good deal, and it was Amazon shipping. Hell City, this one is not a tiny digest sized book like this Spider Gwen book. No, it is a. I should figure it's technically it's bigger than a nameless. Like, very, very. Like, you can't even tell. Nope, you can't tell. But. Your normal trade size, thick as, thick as a brick. That is what I should say, thick as a brick. It is pretty, actually, it is kind of thick as a brick. It's kind of funny. And Amazon shipping, too. It was three days rather than two days, but I ordered kind of late, so. But not only is this the last Joe Pruitt book I needed from Image Comics, but also you got a lot of damn good artists. You got Brian Boland and Michael Avon Oming. Let's see. Tim Bradstreet, you know what, um, Dan Barenton, I'm just gonna name all the ones, I'll show it after, but I'm just gonna name all the ones I, um, no, I top of my head, I'm gonna go even, oh my, Joe Quesada, I didn't even know he was an artist, yeah, I know, I'm showing my, uh, limited knowledge, how long have we been going for, we've we, we been going for 30 minutes, alright, Kilroy is here, uh, it's, so this one's kind of weird. It doesn't really tell you what it collects. You have to kind of go by the table of contents. So, Negative Burn, issue 1, 6. Then, Kilroy is here, 1 through 10. That much I know. Then, Kilroy Revelations, issue 1. Kilroy is here, 0 is issue. For, for some reason, way after. Um, St. Jeremiah, it's 6 and 7. So, it must be like a... Yep. And some short stories, but it might be I don't think like a short, like an anthology. Um, got a calibrations issue one, negative burn eighteen four, high caliber issue, negative burn issue thirteen twenty four fifty forty seven, a caliber Christmas. So caliber comics was the original publisher of both this and of. Nameless. And no, I don't count it as the caliper comics, but it says image comics here now. It's because they're. F <laughs> I'm just counting as that. It's one of those exceptions. Two more books, and then we're done. And then this one I actually have read. This one is Rain, written by Tagline by Joe Hill. It's based off his short story, but it's a graphic novel adaptation. But the adaptation itself is done by David M. Boer. With artwork done by Zoe Thorogood. It's Chris Holland, I think, is the letterer. Now, this one was pretty damn good. I did enjoy it. I thought it told the story really well. I didn't think it was all that preachy. Nope, colors like Chris O'Halloran. Um, but I didn't think it was all that preachy with its messaging. You can tell it's... But you can tell that these two weren't a couple. It's pretty obvious. But um, the story itself was... Is ringing nails. Like, nails. Actual nails. And it's kind of like a survival story. I, I didn't get told it very well. I honestly would not mind getting more of this. But it's, just, it's a short story as is. So why would they? They, they, they don't want to 13 reasons why themselves. And create a bullshit. Like a bullshit. Um, third and fourth season. That even fans don't like. I mean, the original series itself. Like the first two seasons. Even, even though like the second season. like I, I, For me. Like thinking back on it. I, I probably would hate it if I, if I watched it again, but when I was watching it, like, way back when it was released, I did, like, the first two seasons. The second one wasn't as good. I think that one could have, I mean, it really could have ended that first season. The first season was perfect. Although, that's right. Conjurers aside, and again, this is past me speaking, not present to me. But yeah, here's the artwork for Rain. The only David M. Boer book, the only book David M. David M. Boer did for Image Comics. Now, almost the only thing he did for he's done in general, but there was uh, there's a couple other things he's done. This is one that I got uh, from this one I had from the 
library. I, I mean, library's copied for the longest time, but I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna get myself. I got, ah, I got a gift card. And I was like, you know what, I'm getting this. And last, but in kind of least, is another little rant, is Satellite Sam. Oh, where, where, how can you tell it's Satellite Sam? This is used very good. And I have always said that the only time I wouldn't get a dust jacket is if it was used acceptable. Because uh, Comic Pop, they, they, did, they, did, they did their little PO unboxings, and they did one a long time ago, and they had said, yeah, this is used acceptable, no dust jacket, that's what, that's what, used, that's what used acceptable means. And this one got from a third party cell, third party cell they trusted, um, each half price, half price books, and they're very fast too. Um, both half price books and now book outposts are extremely fast. Book outposts just took forever to go from preparing to shipping to ship. It was really strange. Once it shipped, they were like, let's make up for it. That was, when I was, the, that was the underground book. This one collects all 15 issues plus a bonus issue. Now, it's really annoying because it, I can't tell what the bonus issue is. I think it's the lonesome death of Radio Row. But I can't tell. It's an epilogue issue. And I'm, it's not even. It's not even like a, it's like it's like a skyward, but it's not even a whole issue. It's not a. It's not a curse words. And yes, I have them about getting that uh, compendium. Probably not anytime soon. Was it three sixty four? It's getting close. Three forty. Yep. Okay. I was right. A little epilogue issue that's 346 to 354. So it's not that long at all. Yeah, all 15 issues. Oh, great. It's coming apart a little bit. Uh, plus that issue I told you about before. Like the binding is kind of falling apart a bit. Ah. But I had to get it from here. It was the only price I could get it at that was actually cheaper than me than if I got it off Amazon. But it's fine. It's not like it's a big deal. It's not like it's, it's not like complete falling apart. It's just kind of like. You can tell someone's read this book before. Yeah, no dust jacket either. And it's the only Image Comics that would have, Image Comics hardcover that would have had one too. Very annoying. But at least it is from Image Comics. I like that. Not like a certain a book reach and all that mention. Ha ha. I don't know what I was trying to do there. I have no idea what I was trying to do there. There's the artwork. Of course, that fits in. But yeah, it's what it said. Binding is loose. Why? It's not like coming apart loose. Kind of like, yeah, actually, it kind of is. Maybe it was the printing itself, but it's, it's not like it's not, it's not a big deal. It's whatever. But I, I, did, I did read the first issue. It keeps stuttering. I did read the first issue of this book, and I, I did really enjoy it, but I'm sure I got a trade. That, as they say, is that. It's the only one. Uh, I'm putting on three more. And one of them being Sex Criminals. Yeah, Sex Criminals, it was just so annoying. It, it, it was like. Yep, being released on March 26th. We're not gonna tell you when, we'll email you when, yada yada yada. And then March 26th rolled around and said temporarily out of stock. And then at first I was like, alright, it must be really popular, I'll wait. And then I saw the second, I saw the new listing, and it's like, oh cool, great. That book is still, I bet you, still preparing for shipping. Bet you any money. Sorry, I just wanna check this. Okay, and then this. Yeah, still paying for shipping. It's Amazon shipping too. But yep, that's that says that. Um, you know, it's good enough comic call. There is for part two. You will see here's another mind just went with the books. Basically, it's one of those things where it's a series coming out. This is a volume two of like volume one that I have that's coming out um, in April. If you go by, go by issues, if you go by trade, it's coming out in September, uh, October. It's just one of those things I was like, I'm going to listen to it. But whatever. 30 minutes. Long video for just going over seven books. But it was, almost, it was also a rant, so there's that too.